I'm glad to see you today. Welcome to Frugal Willie Mae's Kitchen. Today I want to tell you how we actually survived in the mid to late 40s and the 50s. No air conditioning. During the heat waves, the heat index would be anywhere from 100 to 112, maybe higher in some areas. But you, some things you may be surprised at how we were able to keep cool. Being a kid was a little bit easier. My mama would make lemonade and pour it over a glass of ice so that we could enjoy that. That was for the adults and the children. This is usually served at meals, sometimes during a, a snack time in the afternoon. The other thing that she did, which was fun, she usually kept some flavor of Kool-Aid mixed up. This is orange, as you can see, and that was really, really good. But along with the, the color uh, Kool-Aid, she would make ice cubes. And the ice cubes, we could suck on those. We could let them uh, dissolve a little bit, chop them up, and eat them. Uh, today's time, you actually can put them in like a ninja blender that's tough enough that it could blend it up and you'd have a slushy. <laughs> but oftentimes, she would just put it in a glass and pour the orange Kool-Aid on top. We might have a little a cookie or two. She never served a, a big portion, or we might have peanut butter and crackers. That was usually the norm of a snack. The way my mama and a lot of the ladies did back in the uh, mid 40s and on when there was no air conditioning, they would get a washcloth. They would put that in water in a pan, <laughs> and then they would get that wet. They'd wring it out, or maybe they would go to the sink, the faucet, and get the, the washcloth wet that way. But sometimes they needed the pan so that whenever, if they were really, really hot, they could cool off a little quicker by taking their shoes off and putting their feet in the little pan of water. But whenever you take, if you're really hot and sweltering and your air conditioner's not working right or you don't have air conditioning, then you're able to take a washcloth and you can rub it around your neck. You can actually just put it, put the whole cloth around your neck if you had to, and like that, and that would cool you off. You wash your face to get the salt off from where you've been sweating, and you would wash your arms uh, to get you cooler. It did work really well. And it would work today, because I know everybody today doesn't have air conditioning. Or like my some of my family members, right in the middle of the heat wave where it was just really bad, their air conditioner went kaput. And they were without air conditioning because a part had to be ordered. It might be three or four weeks before they got that part in. So they did have to survive. And they did that with fans, like we did in the 40s and 50s. We had oscillating fans. Sometimes they were tabletop, but we also had a fan on a stand that was oscillating. So if you had a room, you know, just a decent-sized room, that fan would go around the room, and it would get the hot air out of the house because all the windows had to be raised. You couldn't uh, stand in the summertime to leave the windows down. So if a breeze come along, that really helped on cooling the house down. Now on the really hot and muggy days, it was more difficult, but the fans even helped on those days too, because I couldn't remember them just as a little girl. Um, I know there was times at night I couldn't sleep, you know, maybe 12 or one o'clock, I'm just burning up and mama would grab a washcloth, wet it, and I was able to uh, wash myself down, you know, the face and neck and arms, like I, say, like I said, and that would cool me down enough to where I could go to sleep. At some point in time, my parents did get a window fan, and that helped a lot. You put a window fan maybe in uh, the living room, one of the rooms away from the bedrooms, 
and you would raise the window maybe this much. You just want it in there enough to where the cool breeze can go around the house and come into the house. On the hot muggy days, of course, it wasn't near as cool as if you had a cool night. On a cool night, they'd have to get up and go turn the fan off because it would get too cold, but you didn't dare close your windows down. I went to my grandson's house. I wanted to show you how the kids kept cool in the summertime in the 40s and 50s. When it was really hot like it is now, we used a hose pipe. Now, in some parts of the country, this is known as a garden hose, but I only heard that term as an adult. If anybody had asked me, do I have a garden hose, I probably would have said, no, I don't really have a garden. I said, but I've got a hose pipe. <laughs> and we would drink from this hose pipe, and we'd also... You guys want to get out here and let me squirt you? <laughs> And we would make a spray with our finger, and my grandsons are gonna demonstrate how it's done. <laughs> it's hot. Oh, is it? Yeah, it'll cool down in a minute. Oh. There we go. It should get cool. Where is the other little booger? Uh, he's <laughs> now, and we would spray each other. We had a lot of fun that way. Do you guys like doing this? Yeah. Does it cool you off? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's cold. Ah, it's cold. <laughs> this is what the children did back then. And I'm sure that there's a lot who do this now. Even with a broken pelican that doesn't want to stand up straight, you find a way that you can set it up and you can still play in it. Children are very resourceful. I also went to a public park where some families were out having fun with their children and they were keeping cool. And so I want to show you that also. I did get permission to film the children from the adults sitting around. Anybody who didn't want their child um, filmed, I did not film them. Oh, look at that and crawling. That is so cute. They are having a time. Even though some of these have a pool at home, this is the week before the uh, school starts back, so. They're really wanting to uh, get out here and play and have fun and to stay cool. Heat index is going to be over 100, and I'm not sure, you know, we won't know till the end of the day what it got to, but it could be 100, up as high as 106 in some areas. Are you guys having fun? Okay. <laughs> no matter where you are, I do hope you I hope I have given you some ideas on how you can stay cool in the really, really terrific heat. Make sure you drink something cold, that's for sure. <laughs> if you did enjoy it, I hope you come back and watch more videos. I thank everyone for watching, and if you do want to leave feedback, I do appreciate that. If you want to give a thumbs up, I do appreciate that. And I hope you come back to see us. Thank you for sharing, and may God bless you and your family.